Hello everyone, my name is Blue Raven 666 and today we are going to be pondering the question, why is Charlie such a nice and optimistic person? This is a question that I feel a lot of people have probably been asking, and I feel like the answer isn't quite as simple as some people might think. Charlie's bright, bubbly, and all-around positive personality is definitely a stark contrast to the rest of Hell's population. Even Alistair, a demon that always smiles and maintains a fairly chipper attitude, still tends to be pretty pessimistic when it comes to trying to look at the more positive aspects of life. While Charlie believes in redemption and rehabilitating demons and is overall a genuinely nice and caring person, Alistair, and probably all of Hell for that matter, see their existence in Hell as the end of the line. There's no changing what they've all already done, and Hell is their punishment. There's no sense in being a better person, and nothing to gain from trying to chase such an impossible fantasy. However, despite all of that, Charlie still pushes herself to keep trying. Any sort of hope she can grab onto to keep herself pushing forward, she'll use. And she stands her ground against anyone that talks poorly of her and her dreams. But why? Not only is Charlie a demon, but she's also the daughter of Lilith and Lucifer. She was born and raised in Hell. So how did all of those factors combine, create an innocent bundle of joy, rather than another demon with the same negative attitude as the rest of Hell? One explanation I heard boiled it all down to good old mathematics. Two negatives. Two negatives create a positive. But this explanation... It doesn't feel all that complete to me. We do know that Lucifer doesn't come off as the most supportive father, but that isn't to say that Lilith is the same way. If anything, she could be another positive individual that serves as a source of comfort and support for Charlie. So I think the explanation isn't as simple as two negatives making a positive. The next possibility that I heard that seems a little bit more likely is that Charlie's father, Lucifer, used to be an angel, and that possibly some of that angelic nature was passed on to Charlie. What's more, as if legend is applicable here, then Lilith is a former human that was intended to be the first wife of Adam. Well, let's face it, she tops. She ain't submitting to nobody. Being a former human, Charlie could have been given a much stronger sense of sympathy and empathy that generally resides in the human nature. Here are the problems I have with this, though. One, demons that are born in hell age differently from humans. I believe Vivzy Pop explained it as the age equivalent of one human year takes a demon 200 years. That's double the lifespan of a human, and a lot can change in that amount of time. Think about how much a person changes emotionally and mentally in five years or ten years, mere fractions of what it takes a demon. Secondly, even if Charlie was born with the angelic traits of Lucifer and the emotional capabilities of Lilith, how could that hold up for years within Hell's environment? I feel like after a few centuries, something would have to give. And don't give me, well, she's a mentally and emotionally strong character. I don't see it personally, because she was damn near ready to give up in the pilot before Alistair came along. Charlie can only take so much. So, if it's not negatives or positives or genetics, then what could it be exactly? Um, yes, I would like to take nature versus nurture debate for 500. Yep, I'm bringing back in the nature versus nurture debate. As I mentioned in episode 29 of this series, I'm the type that leans heavily on the nurture side of things. Charlie, as far as we know, is Lilith and Lucifer's only child. Moreover, Lucifer is described as having a goofy kind of personality, a lot like Gene Wilder's version of Willy Wonka. We don't know yet what Lilith's personality is like, but as I stated earlier, she's more than likely a very caring and nurturing mother that Charlie feels comfortable turning to for comfort and guidance. What I'm suggesting is that Charlie's innocence, enthusiasm, her levels of sympathy and empathy... All of that were things that Lilith and Lucifer worked hard to preserve, rather than letting the toxic, aggressive nature of Hell take a hold of her. This means that for roughly 3,600 years, 
Lilith and Lucifer devoted their time to raising Charlie to be someone unlike the denizens of hell. Now, you're probably wondering, if this is the case, then why is Lucifer always being viewed in a negative light? Why doesn't Charlie turn to him for comfort and advice when she feels unsure of herself in the pilot? Well, I feel like it's because as much as Lucifer may not want her to turn into a ruthless, apathetic demon like everyone else, Charlie is still heir to the throne. And not only will she have to know how to manage things when that time comes, but she also needs to learn how to stand up, fight, and handle every type of situation for herself. She needs to know how to completely let go of her parents' apron strings, and above all, be ready to be disappointed. This is some real-world advice right here, people, so listen up. Things are not always going to work out the way you want them to. You're not always going to get it your way. Or, if you do, things might not take place how you expected them to. Some moments will make you mad. Some will make you anxious. Some will make you cry. Those are the ups and downs of life. And when those ups and downs happen, you're going to have to know how to handle it. This could be the reason why Lilith didn't pick up the phone when Charlie called for the umpteenth time, and why Charlie felt like she probably couldn't turn to her father. She isn't done growing. Not as herself, and not as the future ruler of hell. And life can be a really great teacher. Not only will it show you that there are things you simply won't be able to change or control, but it will also show you that despite all of that, you're still capable of achieving incredible things. That's all I have for this video, you guys. Thank you for watching. For the record, if I'm not as active on social media next week, it's because I'm moving. I'm finally going to be leaving my parents' house for the second time and get my own place. I'm working on scheduling uploads so you guys keep on getting content while I'm working on settling into my new place. But if I'm quiet on, like, Twitter, Discord, or Instagram, that's why. Anyways, let me know what you guys thought about this video in the comment section below. My name is Blue Raven 666 and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!